Hi, care friends. We thought we'd give everybody a tour for our friends that aren't able to make it here to the shelter. And also a little behind the scenes so you can see what actually goes on behind the doors and behind the lobby. So this, if you've ever been to the shelter, this is our lobby and this is where we get donations. And as you can see, today was a good day for blanket donations. So these are going to be sorted and laundered if needed and given to our dogs. This is our cat room where we can have our kitties that are all healthy and ready to visit each other. So currently we have Malia, there's Cleo, <laughs> Mr. Whiskers, Mango. It's kind of late, so everybody's kind of ready for bed. How are you doing, kitty kitty? So we're going to tuck our kitties in for the night. We'll go say hi to our dogs. Tuck them in too. Now up here in the lobby area, we also have a room that's our viewing room. And if you come to visit an animal here, you can come in here, we can close the door, and you can have a little private time. We have a nice couch and some toys. And we even have a crate in here that we use to help get them used to being in a crate so we can kind of see how they'll do when they get to their forever home. And of course, we have a bathroom. So through this first door, this is our healthy kennels. We call them our healthy kennels because our back kennels where our new guys are. So right now, we have Benji and Skylar and Roger and Jesse and Maestro and Brooke and Mojo, and Ziggy, and Prada. So we've got nine dogs up here, and you'll notice nobody's barking right now because they're all very comfortable and they're very happy being here. And they know that they are safe and warm. We keep the temperature back here at a toasty, at least 62 degrees. But as you can see, it's usually warmer. Right now it's 66. This is where we have all of our cleaning supplies so we can keep everything spick and span and nice and sanitized. So back in this area, this is a, what we call our treatment room. This is where we'll give shots. And here's our meds closet where we store medicines. And this is where we do dishes and we store bowls. We have a washer and dryer and a bathtub for doing everything from baths to uh, scrubbing kennels down. And of course, this is where we keep a lot of our blankets and other supplies. This room right here, we, these are older kennels that we don't use for the animals anymore, but we use them for storage and lots of kennels. We have a list of where all our dogs are in the back and how much food they eat. And then we have information for our employees. This is our cat quarantine room, where our new kitties, or kitties that are recovering from surgery, hang out for a few days. This is Nemo and Dory. They've been with us for a little while, and tomorrow they're going to go to a local vet where they're going to get to hang out and see people there to get adopted. We have several kennels in here, and this is where our kitties will recover in and, and the peace and quiet. And during the day, we keep classical music playing for them. This room is our cat isolation area, which we'll use if we ever have any kitties that have any infectious disease. Thankfully, we don't have to use this room very often, so guess what? It's also used for sometimes some storage, and we keep litter in here in bags. So we'll go back and see the dogs in the quarantine area, which is where our new arrivals are. This is our food closet where we keep our food, another washing machine, and that's the door that goes out to our yard, our play yard. It's a nice and toasty 67 back here. 
but we make sure that we have the heat on as needed to keep everybody toasty warm. And of course the fans going in the summer months. And we're very cautious. We make sure the temperature stays nice and right at the dog's We have level. our brand new guys that just actually came in. And you'll notice that we have visual blockers, so they can't see the dogs across them. This keeps everybody very quiet, as you can hear. So back here right now, we have 10 dogs in the back, and everybody's very quiet, everybody's very comfortable, because they know that they are safe and warm and fed. And they're all very excited <laughs> because these guys just came to Kara and they know that once they get finished with their 10 days where they're gonna hang out until we get them all vaccinated, they will get to go play in the yard and meet people and get to their forever home very soon. Isn't that right, Princeton? And that is the back door to the shelter. And that, you'll have it. That is the care shelter. It's very small, but you'll notice that everybody's very quiet because everybody's comfortable and relaxed and full of positive, positive energy. It's positively wonderful. One thing I did want to share is that this is inside our meds closet, but we also have a radio which plays classical music that streams into the dog kennels. Which, if we walk in here, you can hear it. You like that, Ziggy? The music is very calming for them. We turn it off at night but they do enjoy it during the day, and they get it in the front and the back kennels. We're very careful not to overfeed all of our friends that are here with us. Our cats get a set diet, depend on if they're a kitten or if they're an adult cat, but all of our dogs, it depends not only on their age, but also their weight. So you'll see that everyone here has exactly what food that they get and how much and how many times a day. And we keep all of our food easily accessible here in our treatment room. If animals have medication, they're also kept right here. And so our animal caregivers every day can ensure that any animal that may have medication not only gets it, but we chart it and we keep copies in their medical files. We hope you've enjoyed this behind the scenes view of the care shelter from all of our kitties and all of our doggies and all of our volunteers and employees. We thank you for your support and your love and we can't wait to see you again soon.